Good morning or good afternoon. Welcome to Grace Kids Online Family Edition. I'm Miss Martha and today we're going to be talking about Pentecost, which is a very exciting story in the Bible. So we're going to start as usual with our routine. I'm having some snack and something to drink and a little chat time. So get your snack, get your drink, get your family if you don't have those. And here's a pause to go do that. If you have them, just leave it on. Welcome back. So here we are. Um, and today's story, Pentecost, uh, has there's some fire in the story. And so I thought today for our talk time, we could talk about fire and some fun that we can think of or a time that we enjoyed being around a campfire or a fire of some sort, um, whether you had it in a barrel or a pit or just on the ground. Um, I remember making, um, when I was just a little kid, we would pick vegetables from the garden and put them in a tin can with some water and set it over the fire and we would call it vegetable soup. But we never ever ate it because my brother and sister and I never took the time to wash the vegetables or anything. We were just excited to put it on the fire and watch it get hot and boil. But uh, we never tasted it even once that I can remember anyway. So now I want you to pause and I want you to share with your family um, a great time you remember that had to do um, with a fire. So here is your pause. Hello, you will notice maybe that I'm not on the carpet today. Instead I'm up at the table because before our story, I have a little science experiment for you. We are going to make our own lava lamp and we're going to relate it to our story. So um, if you wanna do this at home, it's quite simple. As you'll see, you need a clear glass so you can see through it. And you're, we're gonna start with water. And the water in the glass is going to represent or stand for us, you and me. All right. So there is the water in the glass, and that is us. That's our life, okay? Speaking of water, it just started raining outside, so you might hear the pitter-patter of raindrops out there or some thunder. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna add to your, to your glass is um, vegetable oil, any kind will do. And this is going to represent God. Get the lid off. All right, so as we learn about God, coming to school, going uh, Sunday school or church or reading our Bible or praying, talking to him, as we learn more and more about God, he enters our life. And he, he enters our life and, and um, brings us such joy and so many blessings. But as you'll see in our glass, Let's see, there you go. The oil that is God and the water that is us down here, they don't mix. They stay separate. Because God is pure and holy and we make mistakes and goof up. God loves us so much and he blesses us in so many ways. But because we're not perfect, there's a separation between us and God just like this oil and water. See, I can even make a wave, look at that. That's cool, if you, if you try this experiment, you can make your wave too. So now, we know that God is in our life and that he loves us and he blesses us and because we're so blessed, we like to bless others. So maybe you made a thank you card for someone and did that good deed and this um, food coloring is the next thing you need. This, this is just kind of good things you do. So as I make drops, I'm going to name a couple of things and then I'm going to put drops and I'm not going to say anything. And I want you to be telling your family what are some other good deeds. So that was writing a thank you note to somebody who did something nice for you. Um, taking care of your cat or your dog or your fish or your chickens. Um, listening to your parents following rules, 
cleaning your room without asking? Okay, now it's your turn. I'm going to put another drop in. You think of a good deed. There's one. Can you think of another one? And another. And another. And another. And another. And look at all these good deeds that we do through our life. Yeah, look at all those. And it's kind of funny how the food coloring goes in the in the oil and kind of sits there for a little bit, but then it breaks through and it goes down and it changes us in a way. Those good deeds shine through and you can see that, but it's still, God is still separate from us at this point. Mm -hmm. So in today's story, we are gonna hear about the third part of God. We know God the Father who made us and created the world. We know God the Son, Jesus, who came to the to the earth and um, died on the cross to save us from our sins and our mistakes. Today, on Pentecost Sunday, we talk about um, the third part of God, which is the Holy Spirit. And I'm taking an Alka-Seltzer tablet now. Looks like this. Ching. When you put this into your world, to your life, you can see that no longer do your good deeds just kind of settle and dissipate, but instead, watch what happens. I might even put in two. As the Holy Spirit comes into your life, it kind of brings those good deeds to life. And it makes you look at it and go, whoa, what is happening? That is really cool. Oh, look at that. Let me bring it closer. Can you see how all of your life and God's life, thanks to the Holy Spirit, are getting all mixed up together? Look at that. There's even... It's even making like foam and bubbles on the top. It's, boy, it's really cool. Yeah, let me set it back down while we talk for a minute. So our life and God's life with the Holy Spirit, it's, if it, that's the God part that lives inside of us and makes us become this fantastic thing that people go, whoa, what's up with them? I want to be like them. And... That's thanks to the Holy Spirit. The awesome part about the Holy Spirit is anybody that wants it can have it. Anybody that wants to be a lava lamp can be a lava lamp just by accepting that God made you and loves you, that his son died for you, and that the Holy Spirit is waiting to come and live in you. Do you see how it's kind of settling back down again? Sometimes in our lives, we settle back down and things are real calm and maybe not a lot's going on. But when we pray and we ask God for help with things, when we ask God, hey, help me notice if somebody needs my help. Don't let me just walk on by. Help me notice it. Help me remember to read my Bible and find out things about you. When we ask God for help, we start bubbling up with life again. That Holy Spirit works inside of us to create something marvelous from our life. Isn't that cool? So that is a lava lamp that you can make yourself with water and oil. What happens if I add more oil? Will it go? I don't think it'll go over. Might see more bubbles that way. But, um, yeah, you can definitely make that at home yourself and talk about how the Holy Spirit draws attention to what we're doing. It makes people go, wow, that's cool. Look at all those bubbles floating around in there. That's you and God mixing together to make wonderful, cool things happen. Mm, pretty neat, huh? 
Okay, we're going to take a pause now so that I can go and grab the Bible because I actually do want to read the story of Pentecost to you, not just talk about how the Holy Spirit brings us, makes us bubbly, <laughs> but I want you to hear the actual story. So I'm going to go get my Bible now. You take a pause. Maybe you can do this experiment if you have what you need there at the house. Um, if you don't, then maybe you can just talk about the the last time that you felt yourself like, woo, this is, everything's going so good right now. Got the Holy Spirit helping me. All right, so here's your pause. Okay, now we are at the carpet for our story time, and today I'm going to use uh, the story for children because the picture is a great picture. So let me pull this up. Oh boy, that glare. All right, let's see if I can get this, most of this in there. You see the disciples? You might notice that they've got fire on top of their heads. And remember, I said there would be fire in today's story. So, all right, let me read while you look at the pictures. <laughs> Can you see them all right? Okay. Worshippers had come to Jerusalem from 15 different countries to celebrate the Jewish holiday called Pentecost. Jesus' followers, including Peter and the other disciples, they gathered for a time of worship and celebration when suddenly the Holy Spirit came upon them. They heard a sound like the rush of wind right inside through the house. They saw something that looked like flames dancing on the heads of each person in the room. Immediately, the disciples were able to speak in many different languages, so that people from all the countries that were in Jerusalem could understand them. Peter spoke to the crowd that had gathered. It was a large crowd. They had heard the loud noise and come running to see what was happening. Peter said to them, God raised Jesus from death to new life. We all saw this for ourselves, so we know it is true. Now Jesus has gone to be in heaven with God, and he has poured out this great blessing on us so that we can tell you about him. Jesus, the one you crucified, is our Lord and our Savior. The people listened carefully as the disciples went on to tell them all the wonders and miracles that Jesus had done, they began to understand this important message, and they wondered, what does this mean? What should we do? Peter said, you talk to God. You tell God you are sorry for your mistakes, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. So Peter is saying that anyone can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gift from God, and that all that they have to do is tell God that they believe and that they're sorry it doesn't mean they have to be perfect and never make another mistake. It just means they have to say, I believe, and he will send you the helper. Yeah, he'll send you the helper. So we can all have that power inside of us all the time. All of God's power, all inside of us. So, um, I want you to talk to your family about this now because I don't know if everyone in your family believes, if everyone in your family has ever said, hey God, this is pretty awesome. You made me, I knew about Jesus, but the Holy Spirit I never really understood. So maybe you and your family wanna talk about what the Holy Spirit means for you and ask God to send you the Holy Spirit if you never have before and get that extra power, that extra vroom in you, that um, like our bubble lava lamp that we made. All right, so talk to your family about that and I'll be right back with a prayer and some worship songs. Welcome back. Okay, let's have our prayer time, shall we? Let's bow our heads 
and talk to God. Dear God, thank you for the Holy Spirit and the lesson um, that we read about in the Bible today about when the Holy Spirit first came down on the disciples. And um, thank you for telling us that we can have it too and sharing your gift of the Holy Spirit with us. And um, we just look forward to how the Holy Spirit is going to lead us and help us today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day um, as we live our lives remembering that you're with us always. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for Jesus. And it is in Jesus' name that we do pray together. Amen. Okay, uh, your worship songs today, I hope you'll click on the links below and enjoy them. The first one is Echo, and uh, the video is, is dance moves, and they're kind of tricky. They're a lot harder than what I usually make up, so try and do that. That would be a great workout for you if you need a little workout, too, and stuck inside. Um, so Echo, and then the second one is called The Trinity, and it talks about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and how they're three in one, one in three, and uh, it's a good song. So enjoy both of those songs, enjoy your week together, um, make yourself a lava lamp of your own, and plop in some Alka-Seltzer so that you can bubble up and share the love of God and do great things in the world. It's so cool, isn't it? All right, I'll miss you and come back next week for Grace Kids Online. And I will talk to you then. Have a great week. Bye-bye.